Most people will know Sian Ngobam Tetwa as the musical director of Joyous Celebration, but this time round he's coming out of his comfort zone with his debut album. I recorded the album in 2019, right? 2019, January. And at that time, I thought, okay, I'm releasing this album. But I don't know if it's jitters or I was just not confident. I ended up putting it on ice. And it so happened that the following year, there was lockdown, COVID and all these things. So I was like, okay, right now I just need to focus on surviving as everyone else was doing the same. Um, so when it happened that now we are slowly getting past this whole COVID season, which basically is what we see happening now. Then I just thought, let me jump on the opportunity to actually release this music before I get over it. Because what happens with us um, as we release music is that um, a year or two later, there's new influences. So you are sort of now bored with the music that you've been doing. So I think that, that more than anything, I wanted to let go of this sound that I've been creating for so many years and I want people to hear it, as nervous as I was at the thought of releasing it, but I felt, I mean, better now than, 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 I mean, than any other time, because also it's three years later one, and I have new music that I would love to put out. So I thought, let me just do it um, this time around. Now, you wear many hats, uh, one of which happens to be a music producer, and the other one, music director. But in this case, you're the artist. So did you ever have a point in time where you thought to yourself, you know what, I'm worried, I'm nervous, this is not going to work out? Certainly, I mean, that's another reason why the album came out three years later. <laughs> I was just battling with myself, thinking, am I sure about this thing? You know, but the one thing that I was definitely sure of is that I have... I have something in my heart that I want to share with the people. I have these sounds, I have these messages that only I know about them. So I want to I wanna document them, I want to put them down. The only thing that I had to just um, really wrap my head around is the fact that um, are people going to love what I have, uh, what, what I'm cooking for them, you know. So I wasn't confident at first. I mean, even now, uh, with releasing the album, I was not even expecting the way, I mean, people received the music. I was like, if I die, I die, but I'm, I'm letting this thing out there, you know. So people really surprised me this time around. I don't want to lie. Now, talking about messages in your music, is this a love letter to a specific someone? Or is this about the things that you see and experience on a day-to-day -day basis? Yeah, I'd say it's, 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 it's things that I see happening out there. And I was raised in, a, in an environment of love. I remember um, with, with my grandparents from then, they would basically affirm us every chance they got. I mean, they would tell you how much you are loved, how special you are, and um, even my parents as well. As much as they would reprimand us, but they would also affirm us, you know. Of which I found it so useful... Um, basically to produce the quality of a person you become as you grow up. So it's that type of a love that you get from your family members and also the type of love that you experience now when you're old, um, basically when you get a girlfriend or when you marry someone, and also the type of love between friends um, and people that you, you meet on a, daily, on a daily basis. So the messages are around that, that, I mean, we coexist uh, because we, we share love amongst one another. If we didn't have that, we wouldn't be sitting in the same room together, you know. So my album is all about um, encouraging people to, to, to really use this powerful tool, which is called love. I mean, and there's songs there in the album that talk of love in different, in different ways. I mean, there's, there's a sad type of love where maybe you, um, you were with someone and it didn't work out, but uh, then there's other songs where they talk about um, beautiful love where you experience love that you've never experienced before but nonetheless this is a tool that helps us grow and become better people um, in, in, in society you know without it we are really nothing so I felt it's something that we need to emphasize as we as we grow up in life and as we coexist that without it really we, we don't have a future in this world you know now for you to interpret that message you surely had to focus on the sound. So my question to you is this. 
For you, what was more important? The acoustic sound, the sound coming from the instruments, or the vocal sound? Oh, oh yes, I... It's a very good question because, I mean, I, I was thinking about the same thing. Now, the, the, the sound in my album is generally South African jazz. Um, now, I'm, I'm, I'm a young... I'm a young person, I'd love to think. I'm not so young, but um, I'm still a young person. Now, I had to think, one, what are young people listening to these days, you know? There's a piano and all of that, but that's not who I am, you know? So I had to think, okay, if I go the, the, the piano sound route one, I'll be um, betraying who I am, you know, as a, as, as, as a creative, as a, as a musician. So I had to trust that the kind of sound that I'm going to basically use to communicate this, this message, uh, mo a lot of people would, would basically receive well. So I had to just be bold and say, yeah, I'm going to go the South African jazz route um, as much as it's outdated to most young people because my target market is still the young people as much as the music appeals more to older people, but I want the young people to listen to these messages. So, I mean, I, I would really say the sound played a huge part in what I'm trying to 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 communicate and I'm happy of, of the response um, out there and I mean with the vocals they really complement the the sound that I came out with because for me sound is what represents me best then vocals I mean I, I just felt like okay I can't really sing um, much you know so but there's other people who are my friends who can really sing and make this sound so beautifully so I guess in a way they do work hand in hand I can't really say uh, voice over sound. For me, I just basically used both to communicate, you know, what I wanted to communicate on this project. Now, you just answered my follow-up question, which was whether or not you're <laughs> going to be singing in your next project. <laughs> oh, but my. Are we going to have the case where we actually hear your sound? I would love to sing, just that I'm not confident about my singing yet. Um, a lot of, I mean, my friends who are featured on the project, they, they were basically pushing me to sing at least one song, but... I'm not, con that's like the honest truth, I'm not confident about my singing yet. Um, and last time I sang was in high school, um, at, at, at my high school choir, and I was singing tenor there at the back, I was not even lead, you know, so I still need, maybe I need to get a vocal coach or someone to just help me groom my singing. Then I can stand there in front of you and, you know, try, try this, the whole singing thing. <laughs> do you think you'll be able to balance both what you do during the day as well as at night? because you are a music director for uh, Joy Celebration, at the same time, a recording artist. Um, I don't know if I, I should say balance is the right word. I'll just try and, I guess, prioritize right, um, so that nothing suffers at the end, because, I mean, Joy Celebration is also important to me, and my album is, you know, takes priority. So. I'll try my best to, to really prioritize this because it's easy to release the music, but promoting it is another story, you know. So I'm, 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 I'm definitely very cognizant of the fact that this needs my attention as much as I give attention to other things that I do. What's up, everyone? It's your boy DJ Sab, the best thing ever from YFM 99.2, and you are watching Joe Brick Today.